This is Pasties Herb. We are a team on an assignment to build the fate of men and set their hearts on fire through the media system. With hundreds of insightful videos here on our channel, we hope to bless and bond with you. Don't forget to click the like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe. We love and celebrate you. Whoever you want. If you to want to be famous, lift, if God wants to Lord, lift you, you can and lift announce you through to the world me. from Nigeria, your feet Where must touch Lagos. There are two cities your feet must touch, Abelkuta and Lagos. If your feet does not touch it prophetically, your voice will not be heard from this nation because there is a covenant. In the realm of the spirit, Abelkuta gave birth to Lagos. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. I told you I'm just going to prophesy into your life tonight. Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Are you ready for God to bless you tonight? Again, I appreciate that celebration, that very Yoruba style music. I'm going to take it home and show my wife and say, I might even play it in London. I'm not yet sure, you know. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. That was awesome. I'll go and play it for them. I'll say this from Abel Kutai. Bamalisha Bia Gumbuakala. Maybe see that. Maybe see it. Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. Tonight, I came to prophesy to someone, Talib Brenuzia, that God is going to step into your life. God is going to step into your life. I said, God will step into your life. I said, God will step into your life. He will step into your life. He will step into your life. He will step into your case. He will step into your matter. He will step into the situation. He will turn things around. Wipe your tears. Give you reason to praise him in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Weeping, maybe for a night, joy comes in the morning. Being born again does not say you will not go through something. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Tea is not tea unless it goes through hot water. If you never go through anything, it means God does not trust you. But when God allows you to go through anything, it's because He trusts you. He believes in you. But when you go through it, they, Job said, when I am out of this, I shall be like gold. Today, somebody's going to have a testimony. When you go through things, people may mock you, they may laugh. But God will give you the last laugh. When you go through things, people are wondering, are you going to come out of this? And I came all the way from London. To minister to someone here. When God steps in. You will laugh. When God steps in. You will celebrate. When God steps in. He will wipe your tears. When God steps in. What was meant to destroy you. Will lift you up. It will lift you up. It will lift you up. He will lift you up. He will lift you up. He will lift you up. Esther. Esther chapter 7. Verse 10. When God stepped in. Mordecai. A gate man. Gate man. Gate man. Mohammed. Ibrahim. Gate man. When God stepped in. Lerosh kahele 
the very rope, the prime minister of the whole of Babylonian empire. Babylon was not a t- country. It was not a town. It was an empire. Ahuzwerus ruled from Iran to India and to Africa. It was an empire. The world have known six empires. It will know a seventh during the Antichrist. This was an empire. This is the prime minister. Then he just had a problem with the gate man. Because the gate man knew who he is. The gate man knew that he's a Jew. And he belongs to God. Mordecai couldn't, Haman couldn't handle it. He began to plot the young man's destruction. He didn't know that whom God had blessed. He went and prepared a gallow to kill Haman. And overnight, God stepped in. The king said the same rope with which they were meant to hang Mordecai was the one that hanged Haman. And then the estate of Haman, wealth transfer. Wealth transfer. I prophesy on you, God will step in. I said, God will step in. God will step in. The yoke of reproach will be broken in your life. The yoke of inadequacy will come to an end in your life. The yoke of lack will be broken in your life. The yoke of lack of provision will stop in your life. When God steps in, when God steps in, Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 6, when God steps in, the place of failure becomes the place of success. Peter was supposed to fail. He had toiled all night. He did not catch one fish. Then Jesus entered his boat and told him, throw your net in that place. And the moment he threw his net there, even if there were no fishes there, the one who spoke, his word cannot come back void. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was... Throw your nets there! When he threw the net, the life of struggle came to an end. The net that caught nothing. The fish was too much. The net tore. I carried my whole family. Uh, what is today? Today is uh, Tuesday. I carried my whole family last week. Somewhere like Thursday. Because I own one small beach. It's a small beach. Just 12 acre beach. Facing me. <laughs> Am I jealous? I have this 12 acre beach. So I took them there. And I and my grandchildren were running to the sea. And as the water is coming, we'll run again. But then there, there were these fishermen with nets that is one mile long. That's the kind of net Peter had. So imagine nets you set in the sea for that's one mile long. You now pull it in, nothing. Then they were washing empty nets. Then Jesus stepped in. Ah! Is that my C sharp? When Jesus comes. Hey! When Jesus comes. When Jesus comes. The tempter's pie is broken. When Jesus comes. The sorrows fly away. He breaks the gloom and fills the life with glory. All is well when Jesus comes to stay. Jesus stepped into the boat and that day the yoke of struggle broke. I came to Cheonikolo Bolengwe. 
Onikolo bo abonikolo. Enye ba lady e adigbe. Ela ela gbara o ela gbara. When Jesus stepped in. Ah! The struggle ended. Tonight if you can receive this word, the struggle is over. 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 The toiling is over. Frustration is over. Disappointment is over. Wasted effort is over. The struggle is over. Sweat and struggle is over. The toiling is over. In Jesus name. When God steps in. When God steps in. Luke chapter 7 verse 11 to 17. A woman was carrying her dead son on the way to bury him in a village called Nain. In the New Testament, it is called Nain. In the Old Testament, it is called Zarephath. It is the same village. Two widows, one in Zarephath, another one in Nain. The one in Nain was carrying her son to go and bury. You may not know what it means. In her days, there was no job for women, and her husband had died. The only one who can walk to feed her is this boy. Now he's dead. So the two men in her life, it was a very patriarchal culture. Male dominated. Both have died. Now she's following to go and bury her only hope. But as she was going to bury her only hope, (laughs) Jesus showed up. And he said, stop! Don't sing that song anymore. Until we meet. He said, bring the corpse. And he raised the boy. I declare today the yoke of frustration is broken in your life. The yoke of loneliness is broken. The yoke of losses is broken. The yoke of untimely death is broken. The yoke of depression is broken in the name of Jesus. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. Are you with me tonight? Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. A woman had lost everything. Everything. Physically drained. Financially drained. Emotionally drained. Spiritually drained. You can't know this message, this woman, unless you understand the Old Testament. Physically, she was drained. Financially, she was drained. And then, spiritually, she was drained. In the Old Testament, a woman was not allowed to enter church if she was flowering. And this woman had 12 years non-stop flow. So she can't come to church. She no get money. But didn't know well. Husband no near her. Ah. Then she saw Jesus. And decided. Mam netu. All the way I can. Mam netu. All the way I can. Mam netu. All the way I can. All game me come daughter. Mam netu. All the way I can. Mam netu. All the way I can. Mam netu. All the way I can. All the way me come daughter. The woman crawled on her knees. Because what she was about to touch is what? The hem of his garment. Why not belt? Why not shoulder? Why the hem? Because Psalm 133 says, Oh, how good and great for brethren to dwell together. Is this like the 
it is like the oil that rests upon Aaron and flows down. It gathers at the hand. So the woman was touching the place of the anointing. That was why she crawled on her knees to touch the anointing. Don't come to 7DG without touching the oil. She crawled on her knees to touch the oil. And the oil broke the struggle. Tonight you live here. All long time sickness will leave your body. Suffering will leave your life. Suffering will leave your life. Wasteful spending will leave your life. Treatment without betterment will leave your life. Victory follows you. 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 In Jesus' name. At creation, Genesis 1 1 to 3. Ni a tete koshe. Alon o da on o wa ye. A ye si wa ni ju ju. O kusi bo ju re. There was darkness. There was confusion. And there was chaos. Let me not mess your head up. But I went to a theological seminary. And they have one theory we call gap theory. Gap theory says some people existed before Adam. And that's the reason why I used to want juju. That's why the world was in a mess. And everything was dark. But then God stepped in. Separated darkness. He said, let there be light. Genesis 1 1 in the Hebrew reads Bereshit Barach Elohim. In the beginning, out of nothing, Elohim created. The English does not render it well. In the English, just said created. There are two creations in Hebrew. It is either Asher, which is to create out of something. Adam was Asher, created out of the dust. But creation of the world was out of Barach. That is to create out of nothing. I stand on this altar today. Out of your nothingness, God will create your somethingness. God will create your testimony. God will create your favor. God will create your testimony. Create your glory. Create your breakthrough. Create your joy. Create your turnaround. Create your blessing. Create your glory. Create your joy. Create your testimony. In Jesus' name. Shout amen like fire. Bereshit Barach Elohim. Out of nothing Elohim created. Bereshit Barach Elohim. Out of nothing. Some people have looked at you. They say, where do you live? I live in Abekuta. Where in Abekuta? Onikolobo. I say, what's that? Adigbe. What's that? Shakon. What's that? They didn't see anything. But who don't know you go know you? Who don't see you go see you? Who don't hear you go hear you? Shout amen like fire. Bereshit bara Elohim. They don't see anything now, but they will see. I said they will see. They don't see anything now, but they will see. At the moment, they don't see you. You know, some people will walk past you and they don't know who you are. 
Life begins sometimes that way. You go through things. And people don't see you. But I came tonight to speak to you. Please don't let Nigeria define you. Sometimes you are bigger than a nation. In fact, you are kingdom before you are Yoruba. You are kingdom before you are Igbo. You are kingdom before you are Nigerian. So tonight, out of your nothing, out of your bara, out of your nothing, Elohim will bara. The person who look down at you today will look up to you. They 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 will look up to you. In the name of Jesus. At the Red Sea, Exodus 14. Ah, that I don't you have by me. Timo se romi. To lo salalu. Ah, when you do lo. Kiaziri bala olua. Along on our course of bell, a low bow. Told you, your mother by the bell. But all me, Tommy, ya. I want to do for any by general one. But I don't talk about ya for by. Bo law, oh, yammy. Timos, a room me by ye. Ah, only a droge. I'll leave by the law to go, Monsieur Simon. Otambo lenyi oke wa lowo otun atowo si ota wa leyin omi wa nwaju ah bi ko se pe oluwa wa nipa ti wa so stand still you see the salvation of god told him shut up tell my people to go for when he cast off on you we can go forward. You are going forward. You are going forward. There will be a way out. God will step in. 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 God was stepping, 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 God was stepping in Jesus' name. God stepped in. And Pharaoh was audacious. He also was, and you know, Pharaoh did not stop. Still was pursuing them. Pharaoh is the kind of enemy Yoruba has called You move, they follow you. Anyway, the children of Israel crossed. Pharaoh thought he too can cross. But when the water that congealed to the left and to the right melted and covered him. In the film, The Ten Commandments, they showed that Pharaoh came back with Iranio. Moses wrote in his song, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and rider thrown into the sea. The Lord, my God, my strength, my shield, has now become my victory. The horse and the rider was thrown into it. Your enemies will die in the arrest. God will step in for you. I said, God will step in for you. He will step in for you. 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 Step in for you in Jesus' name. 
First Samuel chapter 5, verse 1 to 5. They carried the ark of the Lord to the... <laughs> They carried the ark of the Lord. Let me be sure it's the right scripture. First Samuel chapter 5 verse 1 to 5. They carried the ark of the Lord to the temple of, of, of Dagon. Shrine. Ah! The ark of the Lord, the place of the mercy seat where Jehovah meets, where man must not even touch. They carried it to the shrine of Dagon. Ah! They didn't know who they are messing with. Jehovah, the God, the Lord of War. He has a generalissimo name. His name is Jehovah Sabaoth. He's the A for Alpha, B for the Bread of Life. He's the C for Christ, D for Deliverer. He's E, S, Shaddai, F for the Father, G for God. H, the High and Lifted One. I, I am that I am. He's the J for Jesus. K, for the King of Kings. L, for the Lord of Lords. He's the M for the Maker. N, for the New and Living Way. He's the O for Omega. They carried it to the shrine. All those who have taken your names to shrine. All those who have taken your family's name to shrine. Those who have taken your photographs to the shrine. Uh, they will suffer the consequences. God will step in for you. 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 He will step in for you. 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 In the name of Jesus. They took the ark of the Lord to the shrine. You know, some people they take your photographs. They take your photo evil people. They take images of you. They take it to the shrine. I stand on this altar today. Everyone who have attempted your testimony and your life will suffer the consequences. They will suffer the consequences. They will suffer the consequence. God will fight for you. In the name of Jesus. Shout amen with fire. The house is full of a lot of young people tonight. Genesis 41. From verse 14 to 57. We cannot read it. They tried to mess up Joseph. They sold him. They sold him. His brothers dug a well, threw him there. His destiny cried out. They brought him out. Then they sold him to his cousins. The Moabites are his cousins. His, his own cousins sold him to his cousins. His cousins sold him to his enemies. But he prospered there, yet they were not satisfied. They sold him to slavery. But God stepped in and took him and lifted him to the highest level. They meant it for evil. God meant it for good. Every young man, young woman that is in this house today, despite the issues of Nigeria and the battles you have seen, the oil of distinction shall rest on your life. The oil of distinction shall rest on your life. You will stand out. 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 God will step in for you. God will step in for you. God will step in for you. In Jesus' name. Numbers 36. From verse 1 to 6. They were sharing land. On Monile. They were sharing land. Gave every tribe. They come meet some ladies. The daughters of Zelophehad. I 
woman. Go meet Moses. Say, what in the happen? And I divide line and I don't give up because we be women. Ah, trouble go deal. You know, Yoruba will feel boast. Yoruba boast for you like this, go fear. They go see all my shake in the coffin. If you raise your hand like they don't go. Don't tell some the love they had were discriminated against on grounds of the agenda. But I stand on this altar tonight. The Lord intervened for these ladies. Moses went to God. He said, their father have no son. What do I do? God said, they have a right. Whatever you gave men, you must give them. God spoke for them. Ah! Every woman within the reach of my voice today, God will speak for you. God will fight for you. God will speak for you. God will fight for you. God will speak for you. God will fight for you. Every daughter of God that is in this hall, heaven will fight for you. You will have a testimony. You will have a testimony. You will have a testimony. You will have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Get ready wherever you are tonight. I'm about to just prophesy non-stop and begin to wrap up my message. For the person in this house who has wept, God will step in for you. Things will begin to move well for you. As God steps in for you, favor will come your way. As God steps in for you, you will be a person of favor. As God steps in for you, every dead situation will come alive. As God steps in for you, light will shine in your darkness. Disturbances will leave you. Difficulties will step out. Impossibilities will become possible. Failure will step out. Success will step in. Failure will step out. Success will step in. As God steps in for you, he will remove your shame, your reproach, your shame, your reproach, your shame, your reproach. As God steps in for you, he will rearrange your destiny. He will rearrange your destiny. As God steps in for you, he will heal your wound. Remove the scars. Remove the scars. Heal your wound. As God steps in for you, you will receive full restoration. Obstacles will go away. Barriers will leave. Embargoes will be broken. Embargoes will be broken. The siege will be over. As God steps in for you, the storm will be over. We are As God steps in for you, He will cover your nakedness. He will cover your embarrassment. He will cover your nakedness. He will make you a miracle. You will be 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 a miracle. When God steps in for you, He will give you a new song. Song of joy. Song of celebration. Ayene Malikaba. Where the doctor said your case is hopeless, healing will come to you. Healing will come to you. <laughs> the people who don't like you will change their mind. They will change their mind. 
when God steps in for you, <laughs> the spirit of discernment to know who wants to hurt you, to know what people are doing around you shall come upon you. It shall come upon you. It shall come upon you. It shall come upon you. When God steps in, the Bible says, and her who was called barren, and her who was called, was, was, every negative they have called you, God will change it around. God will change your story. 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 When God steps in, challenges will be broken. The challenges will be broken. The victory will follow you. The testimony will follow you. And tonight, finally, because God has stepped in for you, the struggle is over. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. Stand on your feet and scream it. The struggle is over. 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 Put your hands together. Give God a bigger spread. Help me to tell three or four people the struggle is over. 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 Put your hands together. Give God a bigger spirit. When God turns the captivity, the day of turnaround, when God turns the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. Your favor that's coming shall be like a dream to you. The kind of breakthrough you hear others testify of will become your portion. Will become your testimony. Will become your breakthrough. You know, there are some people, they just cannot grasp the turnaround. But I have stood on this altar and I declare into your life, as the Lord lives, the struggle is over. 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 All you need is for God to trouble in some old man's garden plucking his fruit and the man is still sleeping saying you know he, he, this kid. when he rises ah, the one that can jump fence will jump fence God will rise for you I have
have seen the hand of God in strange ways. So when I prophesy that the struggle is over, it's not a statement. Listen, I confess to you, I really didn't want to leave home. Covenant with my son in Abuja, Pastor Biodu, made me to connect with your pastor. So when I prophesy to you tonight, at least you can see all the people on the altar, except the pastor who said he had made me, if I couldn't quite remember his face, but I was just saying what I was seeing in the spirit realm. Praise God. So when I prophesy to you that the struggle is over, you need to grab it. Because it's not just you. It's the Holy Ghost. It's not just you. It's the Holy Ghost. So somebody's come. The struggle is over. Struggle is over. Struggle is over. The 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 struggle is over. There are some of you who are in this service today. The places God will take you will exceed my generation. It will exceed my generation. will exceed my generation. One generation thinks it has seen the greatest thing. Then another generation rises. And if that next generation can tap into God. Oh! Again, I repeat, your generation will exceed my generation. Lord, we thank you. You say it is done. In Jesus' name. Thank you for listening to this message. We hope you've been blessed and recalibrated. To listen to more of GLC messages, you can check our website at www.glcnigeria.org or you can stream on our YouTube channel at GLC Global. We celebrate you.